Merry Christmas, everybody. So it is Christmas. <laughs> I am at my brother's house and there are board games and train tracks and race cars. And if you can believe some napping, all of it going on right behind this door. So it's noisy and I'm sorry. And I'm gonna try to keep it down. <laughs> and we'll just try to make this super quick. Um, but it's Christmas and you guys have watched my entire Advent process, our very first Vlogmas with Karma's A Stitch. So thank you so much. And all of the wonderful comments and all the holiday wishes, thank you. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. And I hope you guys are enjoying this season as well. Um, but because it's been a month, I, not a month, it's been 25 days and each one of my advents came with a day 25 and I want to share those with you guys. So we're going to do a quick little video and then we're going to call it good for Vlogmas and we'll see you guys later this week for episode 19 of Karma's a Stitch and Anthony will be back and he'll be able to tell us about his trip to Alaska. So anyway, let's get on with advents. So advents. So first is Pearl Stitch and Witch. And this was my stitch marker advent. And let me tell you, this was such a great, it was such a great experience. I truly did enjoy um, this advent calendar. It was a wonderful treat. These cute little envelopes. And she provided us with the string and the clips to hang it however we wanted. Um, so yes, I was pretty excited about this one. I did get a little chocolate milk chocolate caramel which is wonderful and then oh somebody's knocking on the door one moment okay they were looking for the napping person there in the next room so then i got these cute little bells oh there's three of them i just dropped one i'm so sorry look at that these are my little stitch markers for Christmas. Aren't those, can you hear them? <laughs> so cute. Okay, so that's my stitch marker Christmas day. Then we have been doing Gem State Yarn. Day 25. And this is the one I've been doing my granny squares with. Um, it was the, the Color inspiration was a coastal Christmas. This is from a person up in Northern Idaho from where I am. I was really excited to be able to get something from someone local. Um, and that was really, it just felt good to do. And I have truly enjoyed these colors and the thought behind everything that she did from the stickers to the color names, all the little goodies, I mean, it this has been a wonderful advent as well and this one is called tide pool for today's colorway and i got a little starfish ornament that will make it onto our christmas tree next year isn't that fun look at that and then this is the colorway for tide pool Look at that rose. That is so pretty. This will make a gorgeous granny square. And I think this is more than 20 grams. I'm gonna have to weigh this one. So that was my Gem State yarn. Next, we have consistently opened up, sorry, my hair, we're at my brother's and so I shampooed it, but I didn't bring any gel, so it's just very natural. <laughs> Um, so next we have done our cornbread and honey advent and I got a mini here for day 25. Look at that. And this was my finding piece color inspiration advent. Gorgeous colors. 
I've been happy with the colors throughout every skein um, for this advent. This was very pretty. And this is the one, it's going in, into a habitation throw. And this advent was one that I chose off Etsy based on um, a photo that she had. And her colorway, her color theme was finding peace. I don't know if I already said that. Sorry if I did. Um, but this advent also came with a full skein. Do not open until Christmas. So I'm excited to see what this is because these colors have been beautiful and very, I can see where they come from. Yeah, cornbread and honey. Look at that absolutely beautiful full skein this one does have a name it's called winter berries and it is called her 2021 holiday colorway 75 percent superwash merino 25 percent nylon isn't that beautiful and as bad as this lighting is it's actually picking up these colors pretty accurately so that was my cornbread and honey full skein. And my final advent was the one from Inner Yarns In. And I chose the, um, she had two options. I chose the Outlander inspired colorways this year. And I did get a full skein in hers. Now, this is the one where she had had a pretty horrific um, ac I don't want to say accident. It was an accident though. And it was just be just as she was starting to die up everything for her advents. And this is the one where her, f her friends in this fiber community pulled together and helped her meet her deadlines for her business so that not only she could continue on with her business, meeting her deadlines, but her customers on the other end weren't disappointed either. So this was one of those that I, I was just very inspired by the fact that she had she had folks willing to help her like that. And that was wonderful. So, day 25 for my Outlander themed. Oh my goodness, you guys. Look at that. Look at that. How beautiful. I love that. Absolutely love that. Outlander. And this is winter. The colorway of this is winter on the ridge. It is 75% superwash merino, 25% nylon, light fingering. Just beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Um, so my Outlander one, Outlander Advent, I have been putting into an, a pattern called an Advent Shawl. It's by Crystal T Knits, and that's um, been amazing. It's such a fun project. I have thoroughly enjoyed not only changing color every day, but with this pattern, it was changing the stitch every day as well, which has been fun. So you guys, thank you. Thank you so much for sticking through Vlogmas with us. Thank you for enjoying Alex and all the wonderful comments about her and the dogs and just kind of being a part of our family for the last 25 days. I hope you are all enjoying this holiday season and that you have been able to find joy. I know this is not always a joyful season for folks. Um, I, I try really hard to make sure um, that my fa my family and my house is full of warmth and joy, especially during the season. But I'll tell you what, Christmas Eve, um, for me personally, is one of the hardest days of the year. And mainly it's because of stuff I have in my past. And Christmas Eve is a really tough one. And I understand that it is tough to kind of pull yourself out of that sometimes and you don't always want to and um, 
So Christmas Eve is one of those nights that I tend to stay up later than normal, house quiet, even in a situation like this, and just kind of spend some time with myself. And you know, that's okay too. So you guys, we will see you later this week for episode 19. Merry Christmas. And I hope you've been able to enjoy this. Bye. What day is today? I don't know. December. You don't know what today is? Well, I can open it. Uh-huh. What was today? What did we do all day? What did December we do this December 12th. Nope. Was it Christmas Eve? Yep. And now was, I want to open it. It was Christmas Eve? Yep. It was, sure was. Was it Christmas Eve? It was Christmas. It was Christmas. So what day are you opening up? What do you think is in here? A duck. You think it's a dog? Mom, let's open what it. What number is that? I don't know. <laughs> uh -huh. What is it? A hat. Are you sure it's a hat? Oh, girl. <laughs> but she was missing one thing, a dog. Oh, or a cat. Maybe we have to get that separate. <gasps> Hey, look at me. Say Merry Christmas, guys. Merry Christmas, guys. No. Merry Christmas. I hope you have a good Christmas. And Baby Jack got elephant. And he got Brucey. Did you have a good Christmas? Yeah. What was your favorite part of Christmas? Opening presents. Opening presents? And I got a microphone using it. You did get a microphone. Was that your favorite present? Yeah. Yeah.